Meghan falls into a profound, eerie silence. King Charles successfully avoided the snare set by the blackmailer. Hello, everybody. We are thrilled to have you back at Princess Diana News Channel. Up until now, this week has progressed quite smoothly, and I have gathered here with everyone to discuss the topic of royal family matters. While there may still be a few individuals attempting to tarnish the image of the royal family through malicious PR endeavors, it appears that the dynamics have significantly shifted. As discussed earlier this week, Meghan intends to secure a staggering sum of £1 billion from the king through dubious means. Although many of us doubt the feasibility of such a plot, it is evident that various deceptive tactics are being employed in relation to this matter. It appears that Meghan might be educating herself on becoming an extortionist, which, if accurate, is a highly risky path she is venturing into. I have been astounded by her remarkable talent for infiltrating areas where she is not welcome, resembling the movements of a snake. Locations beyond our reach, as well as locations we would never have contemplated exploring. Meghan lacks concern and indifference towards others. She ruthlessly exploits individuals and discards them without any hint of regret. After depleting their resources, she no longer has any use for them. Megan possesses a bite that resembles that of a snake, suggesting she carries potent venom or dangerous bacteria. Take a moment to consider the extensive number of individuals she has left behind as a consequence of her actions. And Prince Harry, who lacked intelligence, found himself caught in her cunning trap. Harry's assistance and ongoing involvement may no longer be required. It appears to be in Meghan's favor to pursue a divorce. For the time being, Meghan is unable to reassure herself that her efforts against the royal family have been successful. Considering Meghan's impeccable timing, her actions are consistently extreme and intense, evident in their significant impact on not just the firm and the royal family, but also Parliament. Consider her disregard for norms and customs, as well as the damage she inflicts upon others. This indicates that Meghan might be an exceptionally clever, albeit mentally unstable, planner, or perhaps we are overestimating her abilities. She is not the mastermind behind all of this, but rather a mere pawn. Since Meghan Markle emerged into the public eye, my attention has been captivated by her presence. I have read her statements and have carefully listened to her discussions during interviews. In my opinion, based on my observations, Meghan has demonstrated an average level of intelligence. She definitely lacks exceptional intelligence. Currently, she possesses the knack for infiltrating unauthorized locations and possesses the skill to cleverly maneuver circumstances, to the extent of intentionally presenting herself as unintelligent. However, she has yet to demonstrate her true brilliance. I remain skeptical about Meghan Markle's ability to devise such a wicked scheme aimed at undermining the royal family, particularly involving Prince Harry. Upon further reflection, it is increasingly evident to me that another individual may be responsible for this situation rather than Meghan. If there is one person who could be considered the leader of this entire attack, it might be her. She dutifully follows instructions regarding her destination. I have a strong suspicion that she is the key player, acting as the front and a major pawn in this risky and potentially life-threatening game. Once Meghan has fulfilled her role, she will no longer have any value. I have a few queries that I would like to raise. What is the origin of these attacks and who or what is responsible for them? An additional query would be, for what reason? What is their ultimate objective in this situation? What are their intentions? It is common for blackmailers to persist even if they receive the payment they seek. If Megan demands payment to prevent the publication of her book, I believe she should be charged with blackmail as a criminal offense. Engaging in blackmail can be an extremely risky endeavor. At one point, it seems that the Queen labeled her as a blackmailer. It is a game in which individuals will resort to any means, including blackmailing. Consider the classic literary work, 
Charles Augustus Milverton authored by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Someone who intended to ruin the life of a blackmailer ends up causing their demise. The problem will be resolved by the royal family, using their own unique approach. The information regarding Meghan's profile remains undisclosed. You're aware that she hides numerous secrets in her closet. In the event that Meghan were to receive compensation, she would be required to maintain her silence. And it is clear that she will not fulfill that action. She lacks the ability to remain silent, rendering any attempt to compensate her completely futile. If they ever dared to object to her marriage to Harry, Meghan Markle wielded the power to reveal the true nature of the royal family as a group with racial biases. And, despite their marriage, she proceeded with doing precisely that. In this particular case, she would act in a similar manner. Given the numerous interviews she has, it is likely she will make mistakes due to her cunning nature, however, she fails to comprehend the perspectives of others. However, I highly doubt that anyone in the royal family will tolerate her after the disrespect and mistreatment she showed towards their mother and other family members. She ranks among the most unpleasant individuals globally. In her search for someone to blame for her failure, she will likely target the royal family, specifically Harry, the UK as a nation, and possibly others. She consistently portrays herself as a victim and is fixated on seeking retribution from the British monarchy throughout her entire life. I strongly think Meghan should be held accountable for harassing the other family members by pressing charges. The unfortunate consequence of this situation was that they received death threats. I'm appalled, let's disregard attorneys. This situation requires immediate police intervention. These individuals are truly frightened only by intimidation. The presence of law enforcement, legal accusations, a court proceeding, and imprisonment are likely to grab her attention. Regardless of the presence or absence of the royal family, Meghan should be in prison. They must take legal action against her for committing acts of extortion. In her interview with The Cut, she had already released some unfavorable content, mentioning that she had not agreed to any non-disclosure agreements. It can be inferred that those words were meant to intimidate or pose a danger. To put it differently, Meghan Markle's statement was documented in writing, thus she cannot deny having made such a remark. She has committed numerous errors, with the most evident one being her response to the Queen regarding the term royal. In other words, Meghan no longer has the opportunity to be part of the upper social class. Her and Harry are shunned by the majority of upper-class society. If you continue to treat people poorly in a highly visible manner, it will lead to a situation where nobody desires any association with you. Meghan firmly holds the belief that no one will ever be able to challenge or control her. She was greatly mistaken. If I were in her shoes, I would constantly be on edge, anticipating repercussions for my actions. I believe no one has ever seen such an extensive period of foolishness, idiocy, and self-centered actions. I am referring to consistently squandering and ruining every chance that is presented. However, her desperation is growing steadily. No one desires her presence in their company or the company of their friends. She is constantly facing rejection as doors are being aggressively closed in front of her. Consider the incident involving Kevin Costner and a microphone. In current times, whenever Meghan holds a microphone, it is typically because Harry has passed it to her. Clearly, he does not have any control over the matter. Any claims made by Meghan in written form regarding the royal family can be assumed to be false. We are already aware of that information. Similarly to the falsehoods she shared in the Oprah Winfrey interview and the Doka series, she also deceived Harry by providing false information. However, her true priorities lie solely in wealth and material gain. If Meghan Markle actually existed, she would be willing to profit from her own children. Once she compiles all of those falsehoods into a book, she is fully aware that her connection to the royal family will be severed, causing her title to vanish. Meghan lacks the authority and her reputation has significantly diminished in recent times. It is likely that her book will initially experience high sales due to people's curiosity about its content. 
However, before long, it will inevitably lose popularity and become forgotten, much like how Harry's book was. The feedback surrounding Meghan's book is just echoing what was previously said about Spare, with no notable impact. Additionally, I recall that Meghan had desired to make certain modifications to Spare prior to its publication. I believe she was once again altering the falsehoods, and I am pleased that the publishers refused her. I highly doubt that the king would agree to offering any sort of payment to maintain her silence. He is not responsible for it. Compensating her will not effectively silence her. Come on, it will only be effective until the funds are depleted. Afterwards, she will return and insist on receiving additional things. Harry must disclose the truth regarding the unseen children to everyone. The royal family should step aside and allow events to unfold naturally. Ultimately, Meghan will emerge as the ultimate casualty in this situation. Regardless, the royal family won't be involved. I have a hunch that at some point, Meghan will find herself in trouble with the wrong individual, ultimately resulting in her incarceration. In my opinion, she and Doria exhibit sociopathic tendencies, or perhaps even psychopathic inclinations. And these individuals were welcomed into Harry's life, despite his struggle with drug addiction. I imply that these individuals are the type that any respectable individual would prefer to avoid engaging with. Consider the consequential impact on his family and nation due to this occurrence. Doria and Meghan have been given free reign, resulting in Harry appearing foolishly gullible. Before we wrap up, let's discuss the comments you left on my video titled, The Disaster of Hypocrisy, Harry and Meghan's Four-Day Luxury Squandering. The initial observation is directed towards expressing admiration for Queen Elizabeth. It's delightful to cross paths with you once more. The Catastrophic Consequences of Hypocrisy It is not much better than being thieves, engaging in theft and being deceitful about numerous matters. This leaves them in a position where trust is lacking in all aspects. Hypocrisy is quite fitting in their case and can be linked to the widespread deceit and extensive theft they have engaged in. I appreciate the way you cleverly depict their extensive dishonesty and thievery. Indeed, you are correct about that. It is truly remarkable to consider the numerous accomplishments they have achieved. Furthermore, their actions have seemingly gone unpunished, without any consequences. This is absolutely absurd. Furthermore, Marie Alexander, it is indeed possible to remove a woman from a negative environment, but changing her mindset and behavior may prove to be more challenging. Undoubtedly, Meghan Markle falls under this category. The subsequent remark is by Lee referring to Eugenie and her spouse. Eugenie and her husband should be wary of deceitful individuals and dishonest individuals. Their intention is solely to make use of them and subsequently dismiss them. You are absolutely correct, and it is my sincere wish that Eugenie and her spouse come to the same realization. There is a valid justification for the rest of the family's disinterest in associating with them. Furthermore, Lee came up with an excellent concept. I believe I have figured out an effective way to manipulate Meg. Reverse psychology. If there happens to be an activity that she absolutely should avoid, it would be advisable to kindly advise Megs to definitely undertake that task. On the other hand, in the event that there is a task she needs to complete, simply communicate by saying, Hey Megs, refrain from doing that specific action. That sounds like a great idea. It appears that it could potentially have the desired effect on her as well. I doubt her intelligence is sufficient to see through that subtle deception. Following that, Valerie, Eugenie, and her husband were not present in Portugal despite being there. Furthermore, it is purported that Eugenie has no desire to be involved in any matters concerning Harry and Meghan. Hopefully, that statement is correct, as it would imply that Eugenie has finally had a change of heart regarding those two individuals. Following the HR announcement, the topic of discussion will be the invisible subjects. It is believed that they have a pair of offspring. I am skeptical about the claims of spending time with those children during school drop-offs or over milkshakes. 
Could someone please provide me with genuine information about their actual quality time together? Now that we have received feedback regarding Goldwing Man, Megan is believed to have undergone a hysterectomy. How is it possible for Megan to conceive? Given that she lacks a uterus. Unless they are rented specifically for children, they are more cost-effective on a monthly basis. Lois is accused of falsehood, but it's true, they indeed lied. Congratulations to you. Why not reveal the facts about the children? It's evident that they have no connection to them, assuming they even exist. There will be chaotic consequences once the news is revealed. Everyone is aware of my stance on this matter. If Megan and her partner had kids, she would be constantly auctioning off their photos to the highest bidder. I have my doubts and cannot accept it. Okay everyone, we've reached the end of today's session. We greatly appreciate all the comments, and be assured that we'll address more of them in our upcoming video tomorrow. Once again, we greatly appreciate your viewership. Feel free to show your appreciation for our video by liking and sharing it with your friends and loved ones whenever you feel like it. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to the Princess Diana News channel before leaving in order to stay informed with forthcoming updates. I sincerely appreciate your presence today and hope you have a wonderful day. I'll be returning to connect with all of you again tomorrow.